Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Hichol style retro seed beads and pearl earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself even if you are a beginner. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads this beautiful chameleon color this beautiful red copper color and a golden color and you could use other colors of your choice uh, but uh, this project looks retro, so that is why I use those type of colors. And you could use 10 o seed beads if you want instead of 11 o's. Here I use ear wires and they are in this beautiful old gold color. And these are 8 millimeter pearls that match this color. Here I use Nemo beading thread that is 0 0.2 millimeters thick. This is size D. And I use size 10 beading needle and scissors and you could use pliers but they are not obligatory only if you need to go through the difficult beads okay and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and I'm back and what I want to do is take my pearl and I'm going to slide this down I will leave a small tail here okay like this and now i'm going to take nine of these beautiful dark beads okay guys and now what i have are nine beads here and as i'm holding here my tail thread i will go back in circle through this pearl okay and I'm going to flip my work in this direction. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to take nine beads. Okay, here I have nine again. And as I'm holding my tail thread, I will go back in circle through this pearl again. Okay, now this is what I have. Still holding my tail thread, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Okay guys, and when I went through the last two beads, this is what I have. And I'm going to pull and I will make a knot with my tail thread and my main thread and in order to do this i'm making here a loop and a knot and then another knot and i'm going once and i'm going second time through the loop i've made and i pull and now guys this is what i have And what I want to do is go through the middle of my pearl and I still go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, now I'm taking one dark bead, going back through it. I will flip my work because it's easier for me. I will go through all of those beads in this direction. 
like this. Take one more seed bead and add it here. So I added two more beads. I had nine beads, then another nine, it's 18, and two more at the whole of my work, and I have 20 beads. Okay, and now in my next step, I'm going to take two uh, golden beads. And what I'm doing here is that I'm going in circle through these two dark beads from my inner circle, okay? Now I have this. Then I'm going through the following two beads like this and take two of these dark red beads. And I'm going back through these two beads and if you can, in one movement, go through the following two as well. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going to take two golden beads, okay. Go back in circle through these two and through the following two beads. Okay, this saves time. Okay, now I'm taking two dark beads and I'm going back through these two and exit out of the next two. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'm alternating golden beads like this. with dark red beads like this okay I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here at the last step okay guys and I'm here at my last step of this row and what I do is that I add these two dark red beads and now guys in my next step i will go back in this direction okay i'm exiting here at the bottom of this bead and what i want to do is go here through this golden bead in this direction i will take just one dark bead and go through this here Okay, then I'm going to take one red bead and go through these two red beads. Then take three reds, just like this, and go back through these two reds here. Okay, like this. Then I'm going to take one red bead and go through this golden here in this direction. Okay, one dark. And go through the golden in this direction. One copper red. Go through these two copper red beads you see okay like this three copper reds go back through these two in this direction okay one red go through the golden one dark go through the other golden one red go through these two reds three reds go back in circle through these two red beads one red 
go to the golden one dark go through the other golden okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this roll Okay guys, now I finished this row and I'm going to show you how to make your next row. Okay, and I prefer to flip my work in this direction. Okay, and what I do here is that I go through these top three beads that I just added. Take just one golden bead and go here through this dark bead. Then take one more golden go through these top three beads here like this one golden go through this dark one here chameleon one don't pull too tight just go around without pulling tight even if your thread shows don't worry we'll fix this later in our next step okay and until the end of this row i will be adding yellow beads here golden beads i mean Okay, now this is what I have. Now I'm going here through this golden and exit in the center here at this dark bead. And I'm going to take three more goldens. And I'm going back in circle through this one, then through the golden and through the following red. Now I have this. And I'm going to take three dark beads, skip the one that's in the middle and go through the following red, just like this. Then my goal is to exit out of the next dark bead. Okay. And I'm going to take three goldens, go back through it and through the following golden and red. three darks skip the one in the middle go here exiting out of the next dark bead three goldens exiting out of the next and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row row i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and i want to do an additional step of reinforcing here my work and how i'm doing it i'm just going around the edges of my work making it look nice tight and secure not move around okay okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire Okay guys, and when I went around through all of those beads, now I'm exiting here out of this golden bead 
and now I'm taking a red bead, my ear wire, and another red bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this golden bead, just like this, and I pull. And now I'm going to reinforce this joint here by going around several times. And when I'm ready, I will go through some beads in this direction. And here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once, going second time through this loop I've made and pull. Then you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready, go through the following seed bead after the last knot and then cut your thread and never cut next to a knot. Okay. And now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my retro seed beads Hichol style earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. In this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for present or for yourself. And down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store, and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Don't forget to like, share and comment. You help me so much with this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.